Hi everyone, welcome to part 4 where we are actually going to connect the uh, Wi-Fi garage door opener remote to the Google Assistant. Here I have uh, brought up the Amazon Prime page to show you the product that I bought. The brand name is Lomota. These are the contents of the item that I purchased and it cost $24.99. So, so far everything is working great. Wi-Fi door opener remote works exactly as I expected. It works seamlessly from the phone app and now I'm going to go ahead and connect it to Google Assistant and see how that works out. So one of the things I showed you in part 3 was connecting the door opener remote to uh, an app called eWise Home but I am using another app called Tuya to connect so let's take a look at the app itself so here I brought up the app Tuya and I have configured uh, my garage door opener I am calling it Sesame so when you say open Sesame it opens up and close Sesame it closes let's see how we can configure that so the first thing I'm going to do is go into the garage door functionality itself now as you can see the garage door is open and if I hit the power button here it goes ahead and closes it so all of those functionality works great from the app next step is to actually connect it to Google Assistant I am going into the uh, settings on the top right and on selecting that I have third-party control uh, to either Alexa or Google Assistant so here I'm going to show you how to connect to Google Assistant. Hit the link with Google Assistant button. It opens up Google Home and agree and link it. It shows the name of the garage door remote assistant Sesame that I have named as such select it and add it to a room that you have. So here I'm just going to go ahead randomly pick kitchen next and done now one thing you have to remember is once you have added to Google Home Assistant that's not the end of the setup actually you need to do one more step which is to add a pin code so for closing the garage door via Google Assistant it doesn't ask for a pin but when you ask it to open uh, Sesame it asks for a pin so that you know that extra security layer is added provide the pin only will the garage door open so for that you need to go back to your Tuya app where you have configured your sesame so here's my Tuya app I'm going to go back to the home page selecting on the garage door will bring up and it shows that the garage door is closed and on the bottom left I have um, alarm go ahead select alarm and then set password which is the last option on the screen and here you can set your passcode which will be the pin that it asks when you want to open using Google Assistant 